Hello everyone. This is Maya Zahira with Psychic Protection Sanctuary. And today I'd like to do another reading from my book, which is called Darkness Disguised as Light, The Hidden Truth About Psychic Protection and the Illusion Matrix. So I just want to share a couple of things before we get started. And the first is that I ask for your patience. This is not the same quality as a professionally created audiobook uh, that you might purchase on Audible. <laughs> and hopefully at some point that will be accomplished, but that's a pretty big feat. Right now, my focus is on getting more books out into the world rather than focusing on creating professionally done audiobooks. But it is in the eventual goals, just not quite yet. That said, I just want to read to you. <laughs> I'd like to share a section of the book. And, um, and again, please be patient with any ambient noise, any stumbling over words or you know, anything else that's imperfect, because I just want to get this information out there and have it be available to anyone who needs it or wants it for free online on my YouTube channel and social media. So before I start, just want to give a little blurb. If you would like to go deeper, uh, if you would like to find out the different ways that you can work with me, you can find more information about that on my website, which is www.psychicprotectionsanctuary.com. And there is also a free support group on Facebook. It is a Facebook group. Uh, and the Facebook group is called Psychic Protection Sanctuary with Maya Zahira. So you should be able to find that if you do a search. And also, if you would like to purchase this book, Darkness Disguised as Light, The Hidden Truth About Psychic Protection and the Illusion Matrix, you can find it on Amazon.com. You just type in that title, Darkness Disguised as Light, The Hidden Truth, etc. And you will find it. And you can get a lot of information in, um, you know, by, you can get a lot of information within the book uh, for just under $20. So um, it's really worth your money. Okay, so let's dive right in. All right, so the section that I want to share with you today is lesson one which is at the end of chapter one of the book. Now, of course, I'm not going to be reading the entire book to you, but I have a few sections that are really vital. Like this is beginner level material that you really need to know if you want to protect yourself in the future or you're currently going through an unwanted spiritual situation and you want to understand what it is all about. So I forgot to mention one little thing for those who are interested in the book. Just a brief explanation that the book is actually the story of how I got involved in this work, how I became an expert in psychic protection. And that was through basically a spiritual boot camp <laughs> uh, where I went through a really major, major, horrible, terrifying psychic attack in 2016. I had been a spiritual teacher for many years before that, but this really kicked my butt. And I found that all of the popular methods for psychic protection did nothing to help me in such a severe psychic attack situation. So through the story, you learn what I learned along the way. And one of the big takeaways that a lot of people have gotten from the book 
is that if if you've gone through any kind of unwanted spiritual situation, it helps you to understand that you're not alone and that other people go through this too. So that, again, was a really big takeaway uh, that a lot of people experienced. And you also learn a lot through the story. And at the end of every chapter, there's also a very informative lesson, very helpful lesson. So this lesson is lesson one. It's at the end of chapter one. And I'm going to go ahead and begin. Lesson one, what is a psychic attack? Psychic, psychic attacks are more common than you might imagine, and they range from barely noticeable to full-out life-threatening spiritual warfare. Every day, we are affected by unseen energies that can have either positive or negative influences in our lives. The most common attacks are sent unintentionally. Unintentional psychic attacks occur when a person unconsciously sends negative energy your way. The person may be experiencing negative thoughts, intentions, or emotions relating to you, or having feelings of anger, resentment, jealousy, or even hatred toward you. Regardless of whether the person is aware they are sending a psychic attack, Intense, emotion-filled thoughts directed toward another person will indeed have a negative impact. Even if the upset person has buried their feelings deep in their subconscious mind and they are not even consciously aware of how they feel, the negative energy still seeps out. Unintentional psychic, psychic attacks can affect your energy like little daggers cutting tiny holes in your aura. Over time, these holes develop into larger areas of damage, which cause your overall energy field to weaken. This, in turn, can cause depression, anxiety, decrease of vitality and well-being, and even make you more vulnerable to more serious psychic attacks. Focused negative intent, unintentional or intentional, can also cause energy cords to attach from the perpetrator to the recipient. We will cover energy cords in depth in Chapter 3. In addition, when someone focuses strongly on a particular thought or feeling, it can create an energetic phenomenon called a thought form. The person's focused intent literally brings an energetic entity into being. These phenomena can be created unintentionally by people who are sending out their unconscious negative emotions. This energetic thought form, which now has a consciousness all its own, can directly assault the victim. This form of psychic attack can take on the characteristics of an entity attack because the thought form acts very much like a dark being. Additionally, other thought forms can be created quite purposefully by magical practitioners who are casting intentional spells to bring an entity into reality to attack someone. Locations can also be a source of unintentional psychic attack. Chronically dysfunctional environments filled with conflict stress, unhappiness, and drama can carry negative vibrations that can be detrimental to your own energy field. Negative locations can include a workplace, home, or any other place where there is a high level of chronic stress. Some locations can even carry residual negative energies from past traumas that, look, that took place there, like abuse, murder, suicide, famine, genocide, etc. Battlefields, concentration camps, and even hospitals can hold a great deal of dark, depressive energy due to the tremendous amount of suffering and large number of deaths that have occurred there. Living, working, or even visiting any of these environments can be quite taxing to the average person's energy. 
intentional psychic attacks are sent with conscious malevolent intent by either a person or an evil spirit. Unfortunately, there are human beings on on our planet who believe it is acceptable to send a curse, hex, or black magic. Those who direct purposeful harm toward others have the twisted belief that they are entitled to do so in order to achieve their personal goals. There are so many spiritual paths available in our world, and some people choose to utilize the shadow aspects of these paths. From my own observation, most of us do not want to believe that people would do such things. One important truth to keep in mind is that just because you would never dream of doing such things does not mean that others have the same integrity you do. Black magic, hexes, and curses actually do occur, and there are those who use these dark methods without remorse or hesitation. Having this understanding will will put you one step ahead with your awareness and personal safety. Non-physical beings, spirits, demons, etc., can also send intentional psychic attacks. In the physical human world, individuals are typically neither all good nor all bad, but rather they are a complex mixture of both. The same is true, for the most part, in the spiritual realm. Earthbound spirits, for example, are human beings who have died and passed on to the etheric realm, and just like humans, they have complex personalities that are neither all good nor all bad. These earthbound spirits are souls who avoid moving on to the other side, what some think of as heaven, due to unfinished business, over-attachment to worldly desires like alcohol, drugs, sex, or other addictions, or, or fear, internal conflict, or disbelief relating to the afterlife. While many of these discarnate souls are benign and completely harmless, Others are operating from a very low vibration in which which their main goal is to cause harm. Some beings in the spiritual realm have consciously and willingly chosen to polarize completely on the dark side of darkness and evil. Demons and other dark entities deliberately work to initiate fear and suffering on the planet. And now I'm going to go ahead and end there. There's actually three more pages, four, three and a half more pages to that section. But that covers quite a bit for you to help you get started. And again, if you would like to read the whole book in its entirety, you can acquire it on Amazon.com and type into the search bar, Darkness Disguised as Light by Maya Zahira, M-A-Y-A, Z as in zebra, A-H-I-R-A. And if you'd like to know more about my work and also receive some, some free goodies on my website, you can visit it at www.psychicprotectionsanctuary.com. And of course, also remember that there is a free support group online It is a Facebook group called Psychic Protection Sanctuary with Maya Zahira. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and I look forward to doing more and more writing and also staying in touch with each one of you online. Sending all my love.